You took your time. Did you wait up, Master? I wait for no man. You look tired. Nothing a little adventure won't fix. What news? Ali thinks the time is right to attack the palace. The Oyun are distracted and the people divided. Divided how? Some are claiming the new Khalifa stole the throne from Abu Abdullah, son of al mutabakil What do you know of him? Little. He was there at the palace, the night his father the night I reached into that chest. Master, have we learned anything more about the object within? Why do you ask? It seems a shame we know so little about something the Order prized so much. Should we not seek to know our enemies better, the better to defeat them? Barhaban Basim, have I interrupted? No. We must turn to the task at hand. Of course, Abu Abdullah. Rebecca tells me you have met his mother, Qabiha. I did. I think she could be first among our foes. She, or Arib the poet, or Muhammad the governor. All three had ties to our enemies. Muhammad ibn Tahir. His cousins govern the land on which Alamut sits. Their protection is all that shields us from our enemies. I cut our enemies' legs beneath their master. Let me strike while their stumps are bloody. I will unmask them and learn their intent. Basim is right. We must act swiftly. Go to the Round City. Investigate all three, but take no further action. Reports back to me atop the house of the previous hill. Politician and concubine. I will soon know which one wears the mask. Fulav, my finder of facts, my fielder of questions. How can I be of help, Basim? Tell me about Arib. Her words were as scripture to members of the Order. A gifted artist and poetess, Arib won her freedom through her skill. Tabit tells me she keeps a luxurious home in the Round City. Anything else? What do you know of Kabiha? She had ties to the treasurer. Born to slavery, Kabiha rose to become Al Mutawakil's favorite concubine in the harem. Yet her son was not made Khalifa, leaving her future uncertain. Anything else? Tell me about the governor. I saw him give orders to Wasif at Turkey. Muhammad is one of the Tahirids, powerful viceroys of the Khalifas in Persia. He governs all Baghdad from his seat at the courts. Anything else? Where can I find our suspects? All three live within the glorious round city, the power center of the Abbasid Khilafa. Anything else? Shukran, Fulad. Hey! 
Lend me your eyes. Enkidu, I am sorry for putting you in danger. Not welcome here. The Madalim courts are close. Hey, grant me strength! The Madalim courts are close. Dalim courts are close. Once told me it is where the commons can appeal when justice itself is dealt unjustly. My father once said, to know the measure of a man, ask those who work beneath him. These judges must know the governor better than most.
Greetings, Sayyidi. I wonder if I could ask you some questions about the governor, Muhammad ibn Tahir. I am not underpaid to answer questions. I suggest you make this worth my time. Otherwise... Would you accept this token of appreciation from a humble citizen? Hmm. I would. As a start. I serve justice, not spoil it. Take your money. Now, what do you know about the governor? He's feared, respected, dedicated to the rule of law, order. That is all you know. You work here. Muhammad ibn Tahir keeps office at the courts. At the shorter courts, not the Mathalim. He does keep spies here. One scuttles back to his office every day at noon. Goodbye now. Messenger could lead me to the governor's office and whatever secrets he buries there. Good. Now stay where I can see you, would you? <laughs> There. Now focus, Basim. Do not lose them again.
The wish always warned me I would be dragged to the Shorta. Who would have imagined I would walk in willingly? Pay me no mind. You have no business here. Has the governor returned? I'm not sure. I did not see him go upstairs.
poverty was my only crime. Muhammad ibn Tahir's office at last. The Tahirids agreed to withdraw their protection from Alamut at the governor's request. The hidden ones are betrayed. The governor has been tracking the rebels and the hidden ones. Ocean, desert, cobra, dove. It seems he is an admirer of Arib the poet. You can tell your masters I've had copies made. Shred that page, slit my throat. Our bargain stands. My masters? The Mast Cabal, the Order of... I don't care. Are you not in their service? Are you not in their service? I serve the Khalifa. I serve Allah. And I do it without hiding my face. Now, if you'll excuse me. Why were you giving commands to Asif at Turkey? A member of the Order? The Brute was stoking the fire of a thousand rebellions. Thankfully, someone spared me the trouble of putting him down. A hidden one. I heard. Hmm. Are you the one to thank? I read your letters. You forced your cousins to remove their protection from Alamut. You sold us to our enemies. And bought peace to Baghdad. You've already helped yourself to the receipt. Abu Abdullah's oath of allegiance. What does he have to do with anything? His ambition would have torn the Khalifa apart. I offered the Order Alamut, they gave me assurance he'd threaten us no more. So to trap a fox, you lose a wolf. The Order will see Baghdad burn, Governor. History will judge you for this. History can hang me for it. I'll leave this world knowing that there is courage in compromise. There is also cowardice. How old are you? Twenty? I was about your age when I came to this city. Righteous beyond reproach. What happened? I grew up. If you really wish to spare Alamut, turn that blade on your enemies. Give me their name. The one you brokered the deal with. I could. But if you fail, then I die. And I'd prefer not to. Now, I have things to do. No hard feelings. Guards! Mm. So the day ends with the only the short bar hey, after all. What was that? From the haste that way, Gertus.
Governor Muhammad is no friend to the Hidden Ones. Peace, friend. Welcome. What do you have? I all need. Ah, rare and valuable relics. Will you be the one to find them? Fabled riches are often thought lost. But are they real? Ah, you seek wisdom. If anyone could lay hand to them, it might well be you. You seek the unknown? I find there is much to be found in old scrolls. Nothing else for now? I must be... Goodbye. Survey the area in Kidu. What beautiful homes, far different from the slums of Anbar. from my guest? This is my house. Fought with my generosity. Bought by my genius. For tokens, favors, and personal dedications, you may find Sayyida Arib in the garden after her recital. Good day. You must be her patron. It is an honor, Sayyidi. If I may, I seek a private audience with the poetess. Do you? I have been moved beyond words by her words. Symmetry of sky and sea. I only wish to express my sincere admiration. Pretty words. Nearly as pretty as hers. And just as false. 
We both know what mask she wears. Don't we? Mask, Sayidi. Enough, Sayidi. I know what you are, and I know why you've come. You think I haven't seen you skulking in the shadows. She's no longer party to your plots, your secret meetings, your foolish nicknames. I have scrubbed her clean of them. For I have set a watch on her door. My men dog her recitals. Every letter she's had of you I have shredded or sent back. Sent back? You will find them piled at the postal bureau. Burn them. Bury them. Do what you will. You can choke on them for all I care. Foolish nicknames, secret meetings. The patron may have thought me a member of the Order of the Ancients. The piles of letters at the Postal Bureau may reveal more. Let us see what mask you wear, poetess. The guards will be ever vigilant. The postal bureau. You may not enter this house. I will do as the Boyun do. Sift through strangers' mail and sniff out conspiracies. Back. You may not enter this hour. Eyes out.
silence your song of sin, or I will do it for you. How kind. Moving on. Abu Abdullah is the true Khalifa and will soon reclaim his stolen throne. I will leave this one for the Ryun. Dearest Arib, your poetry has touched me deeply. You are my oasis, lush and yeah, the Qaraf. After the honey drips from her lips, a Thalab leaves the garden and follows the mouse. Secret order correspondence? Bad poetry? A bit of both? Harib could be a Thalab. The patron spoke of a recital in the gardens. I could give this letter to Harib and see where the vixen leads me. I will go to the garden, give a thalab her letter, and follow where she goes. Rage as the ocean, I will sweeten your storm. Scorch as the desert, I will be. Be you ocean, desert. Cobra, dove, all shapes and humors will I embrace. Hello there. Have we met? Come, don't be shy. I rarely bite and I never leave a mark. <laughs> It seems there's no privacy in the public eye. How came you by that letter? Who put you up to this? I work in the dark to serve the light. <laughs> I've met the men who serve the light. It seems its glare oft leaves them blind. Are your masters so blinkered and bumbling? You were warned, you son of a dog. Come a reap. We will set no tongues to wagging here. Yours is the tongue that will not still itself, even when I beg for silence. You spurned the counsel of he who raised you, and without whom you would still be nothing? I raised myself. I authored myself. I have written myself into history. You are banished from my pages. Now be gone! How can I leave you to walls such as these? You're a woman alone, unarmed. Words are weapons enough for me. Then let us see what defense they offer. Take her. There is somewhere the Sayyida needs to be, and you are delaying her. It seems that words can summon shields. We will need to make this quick. Arib has left for her secret meeting. I must hurry. The letter commanded Athalam to leave the garden and follow the mouse. You have Perhaps Arib is not lost to me yet. 